the site's owner, the Derwent Group, appointed Cabot Construction to create the new retail and leisure destination, which will be known as Liverpool Shopping Park. Work began with the creation of 92,500 square foot of retail space, which will be called the Western Quarter, with a distinctive horseshoe-shaped run of retail units. Emily, welcome to Liverpool Shopping Park. What you're seeing here in development will shortly become the biggest fashion park in the country. We've a very exciting lineup of tenants to be announced probably before the end of April. Can you not give me a sneak peek now? I'd love to, but I can't. But you'd be very excited if I did tell you. The whole Western Quarter is spoken for, most of the Southern Terrace, so we will open at the end of the year in the first phase fully led. The site spans the current Edge Lane Retail Park, as well as a site located across the junction of Rathbone Road and Edge Lane, which is home to Subway and the former Blockbuster site. The shopping park promises to deliver multiple regeneration benefits for the local community and wider city region, including the creation of more than 3,000 jobs. To have this sort of infrastructure on your doorstep uh, definitely increases the value of, of your homes. Um, and those good people will also have uh, cinema, bowling, uh, a range of restaurants, second to none, uh, and some food stores and fashion stores, a lineup not repeated in any retail park in the country. When we finish all our phases, by the way, we will be the biggest retail park in the, com in the country. And I say retail park when I should say fashion park. Anyone who's travelled down Edge Lane of late will be all too aware of the delays and roadworks which are expected to go on until summer 2017. We must thank the good people of Liverpool and the people that travel this road for all their patience and tolerance. It, it's been dreadful disruption. Uh, Liverpool City Council have in their wisdom said, lads, you can build all this, but you've got to sort that road out. We're investing £10 million in road infrastructure, which, which will improve this greatly. Liverpool Shopping Park hopes to breathe new life into this part of the city. It looks to complement the other major regeneration schemes happening in the area, including new housing and the film studios at the former Littlewoods building. Well, Liverpool's a fantastic city. Uh, people have said this is the final piece of the jigsaw in the retail development around the city. Uh, so, much, so much investment in the city. We're very grateful to the mayor and his team who have really helped us get this off the ground. Uh, so why Liverpool? Because the market's there. Emily Bonner, Liverpool Today.